Hey guys, welcome to day 175 of my carnivore journey. I hope you guys are having a good day. It's late, it's the end of the day, and I'm fixing to go to bed. So I'm wanted to, I've been trying to record toward the very end of the day just to kind of catch some things. Today I had a couple hot dogs. I had um, a steak. I had a chuck steak. I did not get a picture of it. So, and I actually had just like an ounce of like a couple slices of cheese like an ounce or two of cheese um so i'll just round up the two but it wasn't much it's like three smaller kind of slices of colby cheese and um i had like three pieces of bacon so that was like my overall day today um just felt pretty good got some things done it was the weekend and now i'm getting ready to go back to work I wanted to um, cover a couple things, though. I noticed, um, you know, one of uh, one of you guys uh, was commenting, and I know who it is. I'm just I didn't want to single you out. You know who you are, and it's not like a bad thing. So don't think don't think any bad. I just didn't want to put you on the spot, but and it's not just that one person that commented, but like. I've heard this a few other places, like some of these things. So I really want to try to stress to you guys this, these, these couple topics. One is sugar free items. Okay. And also I'm going to talk to you a little bit about budget carnivore. Now, first of all, you have to remember if you if you take in and you ingest things that are not in the carnivore lane remember your your body everybody handles things different so if kelly hogan is eating like carnivore but yet still drinking sugar free type sodas or diet sodas or whatever and had not having a problem you have to remember this is a celebrity this is a different reality and, and not only that people handle things differently you can't always go by what other people do it doesn't always make it right or make it right for your body as well but there is some science behind some things and one of the things that sugar-free does not mean anything healthy at all it doesn't it doesn't really do anything there's still artificial sweeteners and there's other chemicals that can trigger hunger OK, so if you're taking in and, and not even just sugar free drinks, let's just say in general, when you eat other things besides like ruminant red beef, like red meat, like I said, like carnivore type things, you run the risk of things that can trigger hunger and it's counterproductive. So. It's kind of like in one hand, if you're telling me like, hey, I'm getting severe, you know, hunger and all this other stuff, but yet you're still taking in sugar free drinks and things like that. Again, you are not reaping the full benefits of carnivore, so you can't judge carnivore. You know what I mean? You can't judge the results if you're straying outside the, the box, so to speak. So that's like, you know, whenever I have times where I start eating a bunch of dairy um, like multiple days in a row or something. And then I feel different or I have other things or maybe I don't lose as much weight. I can't blame carnivore because I sort of knew the things I was eating and you have to know what those things do to your body or what they can do to your body. So guys, if you're peddling like sugar-free drinks or, or, or other things, you can do that. It's your body. It's your choice. I'm just telling you, if you're if you're unhappy about you know, hunger pains and things like that, you have to look at the things that trigger hunger, like insulin stuff, and you know, like all the all those things. So look into it. Continue to do more research. And again, you can look up. Does it? Excuse me. There's a ton of videos out there about it and what those things can do. Um, also, budget carnivore. Again, I know some of you 
are talking about the, the budget carnivore is kind of tough. Listen, you know, ground beef. And if you can't do ground beef and you're trying to do steaks, find chuck steaks. Okay. It took me a little bit to go to a few different supermarkets, but I found one that likes to have a lot of chuck steaks. So I went and grabbed three or four chuck steaks recently. And, you know, um, and that's what I had tonight was a chuck steak. And chuck steak generally in most areas is priced around the exact same price as a pound of ground beef. So, and like I said, you get some decent fat ratio and stuff like that. Granted, it's not the kind of steak you're going to eat 100% because there's fat parts that are could be a little grisly but you're going to eat them as much as you can you're going to get a lot of fat meat and it's really good like i said all in all so chuck steaks is an option i said and even if you have to go with some junkier meats it's okay okay it's it's not going to be the end of the world just make sure you add some fat <sighs> oh, sorry guys Add some fats and things like that to satiate you if you have leaner meats and maybe they're a little cheaper. Or again, like I said, try to get uh, chuck steaks if you can. Top sirloin's not always too bad. But again, ground beef if you have to. There's a bunch of different ways to make ground beef. But I just wanted to kind of run some of those things by you guys so you can understand a couple of those things again guys if you are straying outside and you're doing sugar-free stuff again you can look at other people and, and the, the 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 deceitful thing is it's just like the people that do the studies where they ate oreos and lowered their cholesterol it's like just because something does a certain thing or somebody looks a certain way or does does something and you can't visually see something doesn't mean that later on that same person is they may suffer for those things later on right i've like i said i've seen people that's never been fat their whole lives but when they start getting into their middle ages and even older they start to have a lot of medical issues okay again it's being metabolically healthy as well so I just wanted you to think about that. Just because you see somebody doing something does not mean that they are actually going to be long-term healthy. Anyways, just wanted to talk about those things, guys. Um, I hope that helps. This is just from a regular guy's perspective, right? I'm not a super expert, but I know what I'm talking about. I just don't use all the fancy words. I just try to tell you guys how you know what I know, what I see, what I witness, how I feel. But anyways, guys, I will talk with you later. And... Um, we're going to be weighing in soon. Bye.